So real quick before we move on, I'm going to give you a basic straightforward example. In this example, you are given, and I know my triangle free hands aren't the best, there we go, still not great, that's ah, better, okay. Here, I'm going to tell you that angle A is congruent to angle F, angle B is congruent to angle E, angle C is congruent to angle D. We have the following sides congruent. Now how would you name the congruent triangles that you see? Well, how you name the first one's up to you. You can use any of the six possible ways to name that triangle. But then it matters how you name the second triangle. So we look at angle A. Its corresponding angle is angle F. So in our congruency statement, angle A needs to be paired with angle F. We then look at angle B. We see that that is congruent to angle E, and that indeed AB is congruent to side EF. So next comes B. And then lastly, we look at C and confirm that it is corresponding with angle D. So in this picture, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle FBD, or FED. That was my fault. Notice that triangle ABC is not congruent to triangle DEF because the corresponding parts aren't matched up properly. This means that you have two new common reasons to add to your list and hopefully a growing list of common definitions, theorems, postulates, reasons we use in general. The first is the definition of congruent polygons. So if you are able to show that all the corresponding parts for two polygons are congruent, then we'll be able to conclude that the polygons themselves are congruent. And that will be by the definition of congruent polygons. The second reason we're looking at is corresponding parts of congruent polygons are congruent, or you can abbreviate this as CPCPC. And what this tells us is that if we know two polygons are congruent, For example, if I know that A, B, C, D is congruent to w, y, w, X, Y, Z, and don't forget we do need the symbology up front. So quadrilateral A, B, C, D is congruent to quadrilateral W, X, Y, Z then I can conclude that any of the corresponding parts are congruent. So I know that angle A is congruent to angle W. I know angle D is congruent to angle Z. That side BC is congruent to side XY, and so on. And all of those are by CPCPC. So please, please, please add these reasons to the growing list of your common definitions, postulate theorems, and other reasons that we encounter.